the idea of kaleidoscope is to try and create a portrait of modern Britain that acknowledges that who we are as a nation is about multiple identities, multiple backgrounds, multiple belongings. I'm Echo Eshen, I'm the curator of Kaleidoscope Immigration in Modern Britain. This show is made up of 10 photographers, all of whom have family backgrounds that lie outside the UK, um, and all of whom bring a personal and often quite poetic and quite lyrical relationship to the idea of immigration. So my name's Hetain Patel, uh, I'm an artist. I'm interested in kind of connecting things that are quite marginalised in terms of identity with something that is widely recognisable, um, such as, you know, Spider-Man or something in Hollywood. You know, of course, South Asian kids grow up dreaming about being Spider-Man as well. And kind of, of course, that fantasy exists in that household as, as much as it could anywhere else. I guess have this notion in there, which I think also reflects a lot about immigration, of presenting something that could seem on the surface, like it's from somewhere else, exotic, another, another country, another planet almost, but then have something in there which kind of reflects back that it's much closer to home. You know that my grand's house is not in Gujarat, it's in Bolton. What they're interested in, I think individually and also collectively, is thinking about how we can tell these stories in ways that are open and fresh and allow us to think about immigration beyond headline terms, beyond cliché terms, uh, that allow us to come personally to that topic and hopefully uh, with some openness. My name is Teresa Ng. I live near the Elephant and Castle. I've been photographing the residents and people around the regeneration area and nearby. And I've really grown to love how vibrant the community is and just you have these different diasporas from Africa, South America. So there's this rich tapestry there. One of the notable aspects of this exhibition is that we see images used in different ways. Uh, still photography, moving image and film, also archive imagery. That historical use of archive imagery, I think, is, uh, is a particular aspect of the immigrant experience. This documentation, this desire to evidence the fact that you are here in this country, that you are part of this country. Photography plays a really meaningful role in that. I'm Rianne Clark and I'm an artist living in London. The Many Rivers to Gross um, is a retrospective of my father's photography, which was found a year after he passed away. My work sort of shows the experience of an immigrant from a personal perspective rather than a voyeur sort of stepping in and documenting. It's more about seeing the lived experience. The immigrant experience isn't just about the journey. The immigrant experience is about a duality or a multiplicity of belonging. So it's a complex experience and it becomes even more complex when we think about how contentious a subject immigration is. These are difficult questions and these are sometimes painful questions, but I think what we were trying to aim for in this exhibition is a way to articulate immigration in its complexity and questioning of what it feels like to look through the eyes of an immigrant. My name's Billy Dosange, I'm a visual artist. I've managed to collate the sort of over 100 hours of footage looking at the experience of migrant workers and families in the 60s and 70s across the Midlands. These sort of stories at the birth point of my narrative in Britain and you know, people like me. The idea of the newcomer is often simplified and made to feel like um, these people are sort of less than British. And so if you grow up as the spawn of people who are not British uh, and you spend your whole life sort of managing that in your head, the sort of dual cultural mores. And I think by approaching these stories that I'm drawn to, I, I guess I try to just help a spectator feel what the sort of inner journey has been like for um, families like my own. I think at a time when we're thinking and arguing more fervently, more contentiously about what Britain is, about who we are as a country, than possibly any time in our post-war history, I hope this exhibition is a way of saying that immigration isn't 
about otherness, but is about our togetherness. That Britain isn't about a single uh, monocultural story. It's about the experience and the histories and the personal belongings and the journeys of all the people in this country together.